one of them did something. I think it was Phil, but it could have been Phil. One of them pranked me. Overnight. Oh, oh. Don't want him to see us now. One of them did some. Oh, and I've got to find out who did it. Because I can't trust whoever did it. They're in my house. Look what they did. They shaved my face. <laughs> Overnight, they shaved my beard. <laughs> I just look so bad. One of them did it, and I'm going to have to figure out who did it. Which one was it? Was it you, Phil? Please don't let it be Phil. <gasps> I trusted you. Or was it Vil? It was one of... Uh, special thank you to privacy.com for sponsoring this video. Take control of your finances in a safe and secure way by utilizing the amazing features privacy has to offer. Stay tuned for more information. So one of them has taken it upon themselves of not only pranking me and shaving my face, but also decorating the house. But I've got to say, this is a really, really nice picture of Phil. So Phil, not bad, dude. Not bad. You're looking good. You're looking good. But you know what? We've been accusing Phil all this time when it could have been Phil. I mean, he's running. Oh, <laughs> it was Phil. He know. Wait, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Um, and you also are no longer a farmer. You've graduated, apparently. Wait a minute. Is that a certificate? Did you get a doctorate? Dr. Vill. <laughs> Dr. Vill apparently is a troll because, uh, oh, oh, okay, he's running at me now. Yeah, that, okay, that's what I thought. He's also gone <laughs> and decorated his room as well. Um, by the way, special thank you to everybody who submitted art because I absolutely loved seeing all of your drawings. You guys are super, super talented. All right, let's not do F5 mode because, uh, I, you don't want to see this, do you? Don't worry, the beard will grow back very quickly. But yeah, I, you know what? They're not too bad. Pranks aside, decorations aside, they're pretty cool, I guess. Look at this. I mean, uh, this is... They got a pretty big ego, but I'm just curious about this doctor thing. What do you got going on? I'm guessing you've been writing some... Yep, he's, uh, he's erased all of my writings. Nope, nope. Potion book still... Oh, no, don't sign that. Don't sign... <laughs> Potion book is still good, but what is this? What have you been writing, Dr. Vill? Dr. Vill, apparently. I don't know how you've done this in the time span of one episode, but you sure have. Um, Dr. Vil Ager, September 30th, 2019. That is today. Upon exploring while System Z is gone. Wait a minute. You've been leaving the cabin this whole time? I really can't trust any of you. <laughs> I discovered a new species out in the mountains, as well as a strange new block type. Coordinates. Hmm. Well, Dr. Vil, I'm not so much for roleplay, but we're going to check this out. But before we do that, hello and welcome everybody. Wrong place. Let me put his book back before he freaks out. Hey, they're getting along. Look, no, he's, he's still very much upset. <laughs> hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. My name, of course, is System Z, and Minecon happened over the weekend. And I'm very, very excited because as Dr. Phil has discovered... We have kind of a glimpse at the new mobs that we will hopefully be getting in the next update. So that being said, let me get a couple things together and we're going to go adventure out to these coordinates. Ah, new day and we are ready to go figure out exactly what Dr. Vill has discovered. But look, I told you, the beard would grow back extremely quickly. Overnight, almost. That's right, Phil. If it was you, pranks on you because my beard grows infinitely quick. But that being said, I do want to build one thing before we go. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is build a jukebox stand. I just feel like it would be nice, especially for Vil and Vil, to be able to listen to music if they want. So, there we go. Just like that, we are all good. And I've also got some music disc down in the secret bunker below, which if you haven't seen, it's down here. By the way, as far as the art goes, <laughs> I, this, is, this never gets old. As far as the art goes, I do plan on showing off the art that you submitted later in the episode so stay tuned i definitely recommend you guys do so so that you can see it and don't miss it but we've got four different music discs i want to get them all that's kind of the plan my favorite is stall but unfortunately we do not have it but that being said let's just place these in the chest now phil you can listen to these and Vil, if you're listening you can listen to these whenever you want However, you cannot do it while I'm sleeping. All right, the coordinates are pretty much leading me over in this direction. And you know what? I just knew that this would be a good idea. I somehow knew that having Vil and Phil live with me would lead to some really, really cool discoveries. Because after all, you guys know me from doing ideas in different idea-based videos. So if we can also look at different ideas in the Let's Play, every now and then, 
recommend, then I am definitely down for it. As much as I'm not necessarily a roleplay type of person, this type of example of showing off something that could be in Minecraft and will be in Minecraft is definitely welcome, and I really hope you enjoy. Kind of worked hard on this one, but the discovery that Vil has made as we kind of walk up this mountain here doesn't really look like there's much. Hang on! There we go! Yeah! These guys look familiar! So in Minecon 2019 Live, all of you guys voted on mountains. Not all of you, obviously a lot of people also kind of voted on swamps. I was kind of one of them, but mountains won the biome vote. That means that we get goats and the snow is snowier, which I kind of have yet to figure out exactly what that means, but the goats look adorable. This is just my example as discovered by Vil, but you know what? I think they look adorable. As far as what they would drop, probably just goat meat and probably wool. I imagine they would be a different way to get wool in the game, which would be pretty cool. But as you can see, they are here on top of this mountain, which is super, super cool. And hang on. Oh, no. The snow is snowier. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, there, there's the block, I'm guessing, because he did mention a strange new block. Am I going to die here? <laughs> is this it for good old System Z? <laughs> the snow is snowier. I should better just walk out. There we go. There we go. Looking good. So, yeah, that's what we kind of have to expect out of the new... I've done it again. I've d I'm not really looking forward to this update now. But that's what we have to expect out of this update, which is pretty cool. I can confirm. The snow is definitely snowier. <laughs> Phil, I've got to say, you have really, really outdone yourself, my friend. I absolutely... Hey, I told you rule number one is not to open my chair. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Good. <sighs> He's a troll. I'm, he's a troll. <laughs> Bill, please. All right, Bill. Great job on the discovery. You've done excellent. And I want to really quickly show off. I have actually been doing some stuff. As you can clearly see, Phil is not a farmer anymore. We've actually managed to bump him up to a librarian. It took a little bit of work, but I managed to trick the system and we got him to focus on the lectern. I've also been doing some trading, and as you can see, we actually got extremely lucky and got a mending book. Now, I'm not going to lie, this took about two tries. I had to change the profession a couple of times, but ultimately we did end up getting the mending book, which is awesome, as well as name tags, which is super cool, because that is a little bit more of a harder loot to find. We could also buy lanterns, which is pretty cool, and glass, and all of that kind of stuff. Now, as far as things to farm, it's going to be a little hard to get emeralds from this guy, but I don't really plan on using uh, this particular villager for trading, so it's not really going to be too big of a problem, but there are ink sacks, so that's at least one thing, and we've got looting three, and books. They're kind of hard. They just take a little bit of time, but we do have a farm for that, so ultimately, a decent source of emeralds but definitely a good source of mending books so pretty much the main reason that i invited vil and phil to live with us in this cabin is to pretty much take care of the place while i do things that i'm supposed to do now one of those things is collect emeralds because we really really need to go battle the ender dragon i mean i'm tired of having to run everywhere i mean mystery is pretty quick and ultimately a good ride but seriously it would be really cool to have an elytra, and we're already on like episode 20, so it's definitely a must-have. So that being said, while they're over there kind of taking care of the place and, you know, working on the cabin, I do want to go out and try and get some emeralds today, and maybe even go discover the uh, stronghold. I think that would be very cool. I don't plan on fighting the ender dragon today, but ultimately that would be pretty awesome. Now the question is, will I be able to find endermen? There is one right over there, which is perfect. Now... History shows it that I'm pretty bad at fighting Endermen, like, and I mean very bad. I have pretty much nearly died on multiple occasions. Luckily, we do have some decent armor, so we are pretty... Oh, okay, yep, there we go. I'll fix that later. Uh, I'll definitely fix that later. Or will I? <laughs> All right, Vil, please don't tell me that you have replaced my blaze rods. Oh, blaze powder. I don't really have enough. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the nether to get some more for the eyes of Ender. I really, really thought I had more than that, but I guess not. But that's not too bad of a problem. All right, I'll be back. Hold down the fort for now. Please don't throw a party. I shouldn't have provided them with music with this jukebox. <laughs> oh, great eye of Ender, please show me the way. Where do I... This is the way. <laughs> All right, so we know which direction we got to go. Now the question is... Is it a billion blocks from here? I think what we ought to do is get mystery. No, we'll just, we'll go on foot. Why not? Why not? I mean, I'm probably going to bite those words because for all I know, this could be 10,000 blocks away. 
but that is something I'm just gonna have to figure out and I've only got 20 eyes of ender so I don't really know how this is gonna go but hopefully we'll get there and hopefully we'll get there quickly so now it's just about adventuring so what I want to do is go ahead and show off the wonderful art that you guys sent in on the last episode so as I kind of talk I'm just gonna have them playing on screen now so seriously thank you so much to everybody for submitting art if i kind of missed some names or didn't add a name it's because i didn't see it or couldn't have it because a lot of parents sent in their children's art which if you're watching thank you so much you guys are all super super talented and i look forward to potentially more art that you send in the future and that's kind of me asking for more so please keep sending in art because i love it i really really do and i'm really happy that everyone enjoyed phil and vill like seriously it's super cool to kind of have like friends in the series I, it's something i've always kind of wanted to do but never was really able to do because i always just focus on building and today we're kind of taking a break from that because we've been doing a lot of building lately and i mean a lot of building so it's kind of nice to just take a breath of fresh air and do some good old-fashioned survival with a little bit of lag there we go and it broke Ah, oh, this is going to be quite the long journey, and we're probably going to get halfway there and run out. That just seems like exactly what's going to happen. But anyways, we really, really need to get to the point where we name the dogs now. Those are the only ones left to name. And don't worry, I've been seeing all of your suggestions, and I'm kind of getting a list together of my favorites. And pretty soon, we'll do a vote to see exactly what the two dogs' names are. But I kind of feel like we need to give one dog to Phil and one dog to Vil, because if we don't, they might not have protection whenever they go out and explore. Because apparently, Dr. Vil has been out exploring the world, which, you know what, I'm not complaining, because any discoveries he makes, I would love to to review and check out so we can bring some ideas into the wonderful world of the Minecraft Let's Play. But anyways, I'm going to try and make some distance, get some uh, you know progress made. I I'm a little scared to throw more because if we run out, then we're going to be in a really, really bad spot. But hopefully it will make it and hopefully we'll have some left to put on the actual portal. Anyways, let me go ahead and try and make some distance and I'll see you in just a second. I salute you Swamp Biome. I know that everybody out there wanted this to be the biome to be updated with Minecon 2019, but honestly, I'm not really upset about it. I know mountains aren't all that spectacular, or at least now they're not, but they will be, hopefully. But I know everyone's upset about not getting a new wood type, but hear me out. The nether update is bringing like 20 new blocks minimum, so I'm pretty happy about the nether update regardless. I think there's a lot of stuff to look forward to, so... Just because swamps weren't updated yet, because keep in mind, they more than likely will still update them like they said they were going to do with the other biome vote from last year. So we'll probably still see that updated. But anyways, we are pretty much a thousand blocks out. I knew it. I knew this would be extremely far. I'm running out. We're like nearly halfway out. I don't really know how far we're supposed to go here, but as you can see, if we go F3... We are pretty, pretty far out here, so we got a little bit of time, I imagine, before we actually find the stronghold. I've made the ultimate discovery! The stronghold is beneath me, so we should be all good to go from this point on. Man, I wish I brought my bow with me, because truth be told, we could probably take on the Ender Dragon right now. I mean, I don't see why not. We've got good armor, we've got the tools, but like I said, I did not bring my bow. But that was my mistake, I really should have done that, so... Yeah, um, but anyways, we are pretty much on our way down to the stronghold now. There should be a party waiting for us, hopefully anyways. I didn't bring any torches either, which is pretty bad. And you know what, though? I could always just go up and get some wood. There we go. Eventually, we're going to have to clean this place up if we do plan on coming back here. But for now, I have no need for a staircase or anything clean, except for when I try and get out. That's, uh, that's going to be a bit of a bummer. But anyways, let's go ahead and go down here. Hopefully, we can find ourselves a load of books, too, because we could then use it to trade for some emeralds. I just thought about that, actually. So that is perfect. I knew there was a reason we were coming here. So that is perfect. All right, now all we need to do is actually find this place. Oh, super spooky. There it is. We've entered the stronghold. All right. Oh. Okay, okay, never dig down, never dig down, but we did it, so we broke the rules, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now it's just about exploring the place and hopefully finding something interesting, like Batman, for example. Okay, yep, all right, skeletons. Never that bad, though. I don't know why I panic so bad, but that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, my main mission is to find the room with all of the bookshelves. That would be really, really cool. So hopefully we'll find that. Hopefully there even is one. I know sometimes I don't even spawn with them. Oh, there it is. 
How perfect was that? Well, that looks a lot better in my opinion, and hopefully there isn't going to be some sort of mad scientist who comes back and haunts us because we basically just cleaned out their secret library. But you know what? I'm willing to take that chance. I think Dr. Ville is going to be extremely proud of me. And you know what? Let's ignore these prisons. I'm sure that, you know, they don't actually store people and punish them for being in that room, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, so now we, we need to continue exploring this place. Hopefully we'll actually find the uh, portal room. If we do, I'll go ahead and light it up, or maybe we should save that for another episode. I feel like that would be good. That would, oh, okay. Yep, there we go. And look at that. There's even an Enderman in here. We almost didn't even need to go out and get the pearls. This is perfect. Hopefully we'll definitely have enough now. Actually, we already do because we already have 10. So there's no need to worry about it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and explore. Hopefully try and find that portal room. Just so that we know where it is. And then we'll head back home and hopefully do some trading. And as always, there's a ravine that cuts the entire place off. Goodness, what is going on out there? Oh, okay. Yeah, Alright, I, I don't like this. Let's just go home now. I, <laughs> I've had enough fun for the day. Check out today's sponsor at privacy.com slash S-Y-S-Z-E-E -E for a free use service that protects your credit card number by using virtual card numbers when shopping online. Their easy to use control panel allows you to create a new card for practically any scenario, whether it be for shopping on Amazon or making in-game purchases for your favorite games. And with these cards, you can even set spending limits, which is great for parents who may want to limit their kids' online spending or even manage their budget. And if a payment attempt is made to a card past its limit, it'll be blocked and you'll automatically receive a push notification. They also have a great Chrome extension that can create cards on the spot and autofill the information during the checkout process of any website. With privacy, you'll never have to worry about your card information getting in the wrong hands. They keep your information safe by using military-grade encryption, two-factor authentication, and by being PCI DSS compliant. Head over to privacy.com slash S-Y-S-Z-E-E -E and sign up for a free account to get an automatic $5 to spend on your first purchase. You can also find the link in the description below. Well, the sun is officially rising, meaning it took all night to get back here, but we finally made it back home, safe and sound, not too messed up. Couple of arrows, but that's perfectly fine. Um, uh, Phil? V Vil? Please, please don't tell me any. Okay, Phil's up here. And, Vil okay, Vil is locked in. Okay, Phil. <laughs> you know what? I would be in my, this room, too, if there was a giant picture of me. It'd be awesome. All right, so now we can go ahead and try this out. Now, the question is... Let's see. Actually, never mind. There is no question because this is all we really could do. Can we do that? No, we can Well, we could. Hmm. I don't really need more mending books at the moment, though. Oh, look at this. By the way, I got an insanely awesome enchanting book. So now we just need to see how many we can get. And that's all. It's already locked. So... Vil, why are you always messing with me, man? You're such a troll. I thought we were going to be rich together, but apparently not. So now we just have a whole bunch of books for pretty much nothing. Um, all right, then. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments down below how in the world I can unlock that trade again. Because I really don't want to just have a whole bunch of books if I can't trade them. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Turn on, turning on notifications and all that good stuff to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. And yeah, that's essentially going to be it for today. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.